sports, school, your jobs, you name it. Almost everything involves teamwork. Hi, my name is Mark and today we will talk about teamwork. Imagine this, Giants versus A's. Bottom of the ninth, one out, Giants winning four to three. A's up to bat, man on first. A's batter comes up, nails it down center field. Center field snatches it up, tosses it to second, gets the out. Then, second baseman throws it to first. First baseman catches it just before the runner touches the bag. Out, double play, Giants win the game. <laughs> Without teamwork, the Giants wouldn't have won the game. So what is teamwork? Let's define it. Teamwork means that a group of people working together to accomplish a goal. But not just any kind of goal, a common goal. Now, let's talk about some positives and negatives about teamwork. First, some positives. When you are working together on a single project, you can accomplish a lot more in less time. You can also accomplish things that you can never accomplish on your own. When you are assigned to tasks that you are good at, you might see that someone has made a mistake and correct it for them, which can make the project a lot better. If you find someone that is interested in the same things as you, then you might just make a new best friend with him or her. And without teamwork, our world would not be as good as it is today. Now, let me tell you some positives. Someone may only depend on others to find solutions, which can make you and others frustrated because they are ignoring you. If one person doesn't complete his or her task, the whole project can suffer, which will make you and others frustrated. If your team isn't working at 100%, then you might not finish the project on time or win the game. If there are a lot of opinions and facts, disagreements are bound to arise which can solve the project and make you and others frustrated. So now let's talk about some, some examples of teamwork. Let's use a baseball game as one of our examples. Have you guys ever really thought of how many people it takes to put on a baseball game? Well, you need your stadium owners, stadium designers, stadium builders, field preparers, fans, mascots, the cleaners, the bat boys, the coaches, the umpires, players for both teams, the league staff, the food servers, food preparers, and the list just goes on and on and on. So remember this. I mean, here's some more examples. Making a movie making computers that we rely on every day. And mostly everything in your house has gotten there by teamwork. So remember this, there is no I in teamwork. Now, are you guys ready to have some fun? Yeah. All right, let's play a game. I have two people in the back of the audience. They have beach balls. And your job, audience, is to get the beach balls up to the stage without the ball touching the ground and without leaving your seats. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go. Go! Now I want to pick a volunteer. Let's have you. <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this beach ball and try to get it to that black wall over there without the ball touching the ground by yourself and without leaving the stage. Ready? Go. Oh, nice try, thank you. Now you can go back to your seat. 
So that was a perfect example of accomplishing something as a team that you can never accomplish on your own. So to leave you guys off with my TED Talk, I want you guys to remember this. Team, T, together, E, everyone, A, accomplishes, M, more. Team, together, everyone accomplishes more. Let's all say that together. Team, together, everyone accomplishes more. Thank you, and go team!